Welcome back, boys. As you guys know, I've been making a lot of trading videos in the past. Um, and a lot of guides and tutorials on how to trade, how to flip, etc., how to do values. But today, uh, to save you guys some time from watching, you know, all of my videos, I'm going to make a complete how to trade video. So I'm going to be giving you guys everything. I'm going to be giving you guys how to do values. I'm going to be showing you guys how to flip. I'm going to be showing you guys how to trade for profit. I'm going to show you guys where to find trades. I'm going to show you guys where to find snipes. Basically everything that I do for trading and that you guys could be uh, doing as well to become successful in trading. And yeah, so um, if this is already a part of the video that you're already pretty confident in, say you're pretty confident in uh, knowing values, then feel free to skip. Um, I'll already recommend watching the whole video because there's probably gonna be something that'll help you in trading and make uh, a bunch of profit. So yeah, let's get right into it. So first thing I wanna talk about is values. So as you can see, all these characters have different traits, different stats, different everything, right? They could be shiny, unshiny. Value, values are pretty hard. Values change constantly every day. It's definitely not easy to keep up with values. You kind of have to kind of trade constantly to uh, remember values every day. Fortunately for you guys, um, I partnered up with 123 Demands. Um, they do a bunch of like value lists on other different games. And they just released today, and we have a bunch of uh, really strong traders working on this value list. We're gonna be updating this list daily. Once again, like I said, a bunch of big traders on it. We have we have people from the Citadel value list working on it as well, like the owners of this value list and a bunch of top 100 traders uh, in animated vendors are all working on this website. So if you guys ever need help with values, as you guys can see, we can look at Gojo. We see he has, you know, 4.3 mil gem value, uh, 5.4K reroll value. Unfortunately though, right now there's no charts to really look at. I'm pretty sure they're gonna be updating that very soon and adding it in. We also have a trading calculator. So say I'm offering, you know, a Shadow Dragon and someone offers me, let's say Demon King, shiny and then like a gojo you can kind of see if this is a w trade or not and as you can see with this calculator it shows us we are making gem value off of this trade if they don't have any trades and yeah they just came out they're gonna be making it a lot better in the future but this is good for values another place you can look for values is rap charts say look at shadow dragon so this is how i use rap charts to my advantage so the last month this is for um just to see like the value growth over time so as you can see Shadow Dragon is slowly starting to rise. So this is good for like investments. If you're planning to invest, uh, you definitely use last month. If you're using investments, we can also look at Gojo. As you can see, he rose a lot. And then he's starting to slow down and then starting to rise again. Then say you're investing into Sun Jin Woo, we can see that, oh, he's dropping. So last month is definitely uh, a good place to look at your investments or just to see where characters uh, direction are heading. For the current value, I like to look at last day or last week to see where people are buying. So I look at the last day and see people are buying around 840, 830, 850k. I know that people are willing to spend 850k on Sanju Wu. So I'm going to be looking to buy a Sanju Wu at under around 800k. So when I do sell, I'll make around 50k profit. And like I said, every day values changes. So you don't want to, every time you hop on uh, trading, so every time you hop on anime defenders, make sure you guys check the values on your characters. You guys know uh, if you are planning to sell them, you know what price to sell them at. Another place you guys can uh, look at values is if you guys uh, join my Discord server or you can join the official anime defenders Discord server. You guys can kind of ask, hey, is this a W or L trade or is this profit or how much is this value? Uh, my server, I have a bunch of mods working to answer your questions. I'm guessing an anime defender server just a bunch of people also answering questions, although sometimes you don't want to trust a random person as it could be lying or trolling you. Let's talk about reroll values. So this one is another thing that changes quite often. So if we go look at rerolls and see the chances, Almighty, Rikiam, these two traits are usually the most overpay. Um, some, some double traits are really good though too. Say like Precision 1 with Crit 3, that's a good build, it's like a critical build. Um, or maybe like a Sonic with Rikiam, just any Crazy uh, double traits are good. So let me kind of show you guys the value. So Almighty trait usually doubles the character's price with like without traits. So say Gojo, not double, but like right. So Almighty basically like not doubles, but like just under doubles the character's value. So say Gojo is worth around four mil. Um, with Almighty, he's gonna be around like seven, 7.5 mil. So just around double. Same with Shadow Dragon. Shadow Dragon is around 5.5 mil currently. So he, his almighty is worth around 9, 9.5 mil. Although if you guys get almighty with another crazy double trace, we get almighty with Swiftness 3 or almighty with Brawler 3. That's uh, even crazier. That's a lot of overpay because that's a crazy good meta unit and leaderboard runners like to uh, pay a lot of overpay. There's no like calculation you can do. It just depends on the double trait, but say 
you have a Gocho Brawler 3 Almighty. I think it's worth around 4 mil. He's definitely going to be around like 10 mil. Almighty with Brawler 3 is pretty crazy. Or say like Almighty with Sonic. Like that's just uh, crazy, you know? But yeah, traits like Precision, Sonic, Bullseye, they don't add too crazy overpay. If you just get those, I would personally skip and go for Rakim or Almighty. But if it's just like a mythic or low tier secret, then Sonic, Precision, Bullseye are fine. One more thing, uh, Rakim. Rakim adds just a little bit of overpay. Depends on the character. It can add around 100 to 500k overpay. Although Rakim is getting a buff soon at the time recording, uh, we don't know what the exact buff is. So it could make Rakim a lot better for overpay, overpay wise or not too crazy. So. Then another thing you have to remember when doing trade rerolls is how much trade rerolls cost. So at the time of recording, trade rerolls are around 900 gems per. So if you're going to be rolling for that Almighty, just keep in mind um, how much gems you're kind of spending for that Almighty. So if rerolls are costing more and more every day, then that means Almighty uh, characters are going to be worth more and more because it's just harder to get and more expensive to get. Next thing we want to look at is stats. Um, Stats don't really matter too much. People don't really overpay too much on stats unless it's like a meta character. For example, Gojo, I have a Gojo Almighty. Uh, in an ideal world, if I had triple S stats, there'd be a good amount of overpay for him. But unfortunately, I don't. But if you have complete terrible stats, say you just uh, pulled a Sanjin Wu. Say you have terrible, let's find a random character. You have C stats on all of them. I personally reckon because I personally recommend to uh, just quickly roll with some dice, get him to at least like B stats or something. Because then people will probably be hesitant to uh, buy your Sanji Wu. If it's, uh, especially if it's a new player trying to get their first secret, they're probably going to be hesitant to buy if your stats are pretty bad. And yeah, for shinies, it's um, pretty easy for the lower tier secrets. Say we have Demon King, there's a lot of shiny Demon Kings. You can kind of see where he's getting sold at. So he's around, you know, one point. 7 mil, let's say, although he did drop. Look at last week, say here, a uh, nice 1.6, 1.7 mil. Although for higher tier secrets, say we do Slime Spirit Queen. This wrap is kind of messed up. As you can see, there's only been one sale. There's only been one sale stuck at 75 million. And it seems like someone did another sale at 18 million. So the value of a Slime Spirit Queen is a little bit tough. So for crazy shinies like that, I definitely recommend uh, this. I definitely recommend this website or um, just asking around in like a Discord server, but make sure you're asking someone that's trustworthy, like a good trader, because most people don't never traded with Slime Spirit Queen Shiny, so they might not know exactly what they're talking about. But yeah, that should be everything for values. Let's get right next to the next step. All right now they got values, it's pretty important to get your first secret or you know, snipe if you're just first secrets or items to start trading. So now I'm gonna be teaching you guys um, how to snipe. I said this in my old video, but I'm gonna say it again. Um, sniping is basically when you buy something that's way under value and then you kind of sell it for higher later. So that's called a flip or flipping, as you can say. So let me show you guys an example. Say we find, so let me show you guys an example. Say we find a Gojo selling at 3.5 mil. We're like, oh shoot, that's 1 million under wrap. That's pretty good. Buy that and then sell them at 4.5. That's a 1 million gem flip. And yeah. So now, where do we find these flips? So, I'm gonna show you guys what I like to do. Um, you guys don't have to copy me exactly, but it should give you an idea on how to flip. So to find these flips, as you can see, there's a Sanji Wu at 800K. You might be thinking that's a really good price. But personally, um, with flips, I like to buy way under wrap. Um, as you can see, his wrap right now is 870. You technically could flip it. You could buy for 800K and then sell it around like 870, 860K, make, you know, 50K profit. Although you gotta uh, keep in fact about booth sales and you also have to think how long it'll take. As you can see, no one's really buying this. So you kind of have to wait a good while until someone buys. Although there's ways to speed up this, uh, although there's ways to speed up this method, um, personally to buy uh, cheap flips, usually newer players are in Singapore or United States servers. These are usually where the newer players are in, so they don't know values that well and they kind of sell their stuff for cheap. So I kind of just pop these servers a bit and then when I'm selling I like to sell in Germany India and Australia these servers usually have a bunch of like rich players on them so these are like good servers to try and sell because people are willing to overpay on those servers and you can overprice your items and get them sold another way to find flips um, 
Say for example, you're uh, trading items, I definitely recommend using uh, Discord to find some flips as well. This helps me a lot. Um, I'm buying dice for 600 each, rerolls at 400 each. This is way undervalued. And then kind of what I do with these items, I just go back to here. Remember I bought those dice at 600 each. I kind of just open up a stand and then go to a Germany server or some crazy uh, expensive server and sell them at 800 pop. As you can see, I'm doing this with mirrors right now. And these two were uh, flips. I think I bought this guy for 3 mil. And then this guy for like around 500k. So I'm just trying to get them off. And yeah. And here we go. We just found a couple flips. Uh, trade crystals at 400. Pretty good. Um, this is annoying though. As I said earlier in the video, trade crystals are going around 900 to 1k per. And then frostbind is uh, a little bit higher. I think it's around 2 to 3k. And if you guys aren't sure, you can go back to this website. And this website shows you items as well. Um, as you can see, yeah, trade crystals are going for around 800 per. And then you see frost pines are around 3.2k. We technically just made a small item flip. Now we can uh, flip those around. Now you're probably wondering how do you flip, um, how do you sell trade crystals above 400? Because 400 is the current max to sell trade crystals. Um, you can easily, oh shoot, 12 frost pines and it got sold. As you can see, you have to be fast at flipping as uh, stuff just kind of gets sold. Yeah, so to trade away trade crystals, you're gonna have to um, basically trade, trade for like a unit or something, and then kind of sell that unit if you wanna turn it into gems. Or you can um, trust someone to uh, kind of like do a trade with. So basically if you're selling rerolls at 800 per, you can ask someone to list a character at 80,000 so you can sell 100 rerolls to them. Although, um, definitely, if you guys are going to do that, there's a good chance you might get scammed. Make sure you guys either have them go first or you guys use a trusted middleman. Do not use any of the middleman servers, they're all scams. Uh, make sure you middleman on the official server. Staff usually can middleman for you. You guys can also ask me to middleman if I'm on ever, but if I have too many requests, I might not get back to you guys. But yeah, you can also flip uh, game passes, uh, secrets, basically everything. My personal favorite flips right now are rerolls, cross binds, uh, divine wishes, secrets, um, mirrors, and game passes. As you guys can see in my little my little shop, uh, basically everything I'm buying here, I like to flip because it's really easy, and you make a good amount of gems per flip. Honestly, flipping takes patience. Um, it's not easy finding a really good deal on like a secret or some items. Um, you're just gonna have to be patient, keep popping servers until eventually you find something that is good for you or you know, good profit. And flipping definitely takes time. So if you're under 100k, just keep flipping items when you're above. When you're under 500k, you can wishes, game passes, uh, items. When you're under 1 mil, you can start doing low tier secrets and all the above on the previous things I said items, wishes, game passes. And then when you're under 10 mil, you can basically flip everything. Except for like super high tier stuff. Uh, under 10 mil, you can basically flip every character or unit in the game. So next thing we're getting into is trading. Trading is definitely similar to flipping. It has similar aspects, although you're not kind of server hopping. You could, you could server hop and then type in chat saying, hey, trading this, you know. But my favorite place to find trades, definitely Discord. Just, um, you know, go to your trade advertisement. Have your little shop ready to be copy and pasted, click send, and then boom. Now uh, I tell, I kind of tell people what units I have, and then you know the secrets and everything. And people, um, and people like usually just DM you uh, if they're ever interested. The nice thing about having the shop is, say I have like an Almighty Gojo, everyone kind of wants one. Say someone really wants one, and they give me like a crazy offer. Uh, just say something stupid like two Almighty figures, right? That's a really good deal for me, and obviously I accept. So yeah, after you send your trade out, um, you guys are gonna need to learn how to haggle. Um, haggling is basically when, say someone offers you, you know, eight mil for your almighty goja, and that's already a good price. But to make some extra profit, you know, to be extra greedy, you can haggle. Um, you can say like, uh, no thank you, that's too low for me. Uh, could you do nine mil, 10 mil, for example, right? And you're like, and then they're like, uh, I can't go that high. What about 8.5 mil? And you're like, hmm, 8.7. They're like, all right, fine. So just like that, just adding a couple messages, you just made extra 700K off of your trade. Um, 
you don't want to haggle all the time, you know, sometimes you just have to just have to read the room, you actually just kind of see what type of person they are. And like I showed you guys again, um, if you guys use one, two, three demands, they have a trading calculator, you can kind of see. It doesn't uh, have uh, trade, trade prices, which is kind of impossible to make on a value list, but this will definitely help you out. You can do the math yourself. So if you have like a regular shadow drag, let's say we have a regular shadow dragon training for a bunch of legion captains. Does that make sense, right? You can kind of do the math. Just um, all right, Almighty. It's gonna be double his price. Not double. So Almighty is gonna be you know around double his price, but just under. So it's probably gonna be around 9.5 mil. And then you can be like, oh shoot. This is terrible, even though that's not too far off here. We also have to remember trades, and you're like, oh, she was terrible. There's a bunch of servers with these um, trading panels. As you can see, my server has a lot of people trying to trade as well. So uh, I just recommend you know going into joining a bunch of trading servers, spam paste your little shop, and then you'll just get flooded with DMs with trades and stuff. There's also a couple of Facebook groups that I know of that like do trading as well. I heard some people got really crazy deals off of here, so you could try it. I personally never used it, but I heard good things, so you can definitely uh, get some good trades here. Another thing you guys gotta remember during trading is um, demand. Some characters have more demand than others. Basically, what that means is people uh, definitely want a Gojo more than, let's say, a Hakari. So keep that in mind while trading. Even if the value says um, it's equal on the trade, you're giving them like a bunch of rerolls for their Hakari and it's like an evil trade. It still might not be perfect, good for you because um, it'd be hard to get rid of that Hakari or like trade them away for a good deal because nobody wants them. But if you have a bunch of rerolls, you can probably have a better chance of getting a better deal. Same goes with like high tier secret units. Say like Gojo, he has a lot to demand. You could probably find a good deal with him, but not so good with someone like um, you know, Hikari, like I said. All right, we're trading now out the way. Let's um, let's go to the next uh, part. This one's actually my favorite part because I don't have to do a lot of work. But um, this part is gonna be investing. Um, investing is only kind of meant to be done if you have like over five million rap plus gems. So pretty hard to get into, but um, I would still watch even if you're under like one million gems because. These tips can help you out. So yeah, uh, before when I talked about those rap charts, um, obviously you can see you know Gojo um, rising up. I still believe he's still gonna slowly rise. Like he's been going up like 50, 50k a day, which is pretty nice. Um, obviously back here he was going up like crazy, like a mil a day, not half a mil, but like half a mil a day. I bought most of my Gojos at around like I got one at 300, and then 450, and then 500, and then got another one at like. 3.6 so investing is definitely worth it um, you're gonna make a lot of obviously the biggest investment characters are gonna be like high tier units that you can't get anymore so obviously you can't get gojo no more he's going up can't get agris no more he's been going up um slime spirit also going up shiny shiny of those characters as well all been kind of going up it might be hard to find those units because most people like to just keep them instead of sell them. So, Bessie might be a little bit hard. Although some good cheap investments you guys can do is like rerolls. You guys want to like stock up on like 10k rerolls. Crossbinds will go up with rerolls. Um, I know Divine Wishes are going up like crazy right now. Not a lot of people are talking about Divine Wishes. And then maybe uh, soon a new investment opportunity might come when it's, uh, once a new banner. There's people saying that it's going to be a new exclusive banner or you know the Wishes. So Shadow Dragon might blow up in price. We'll see. Next thing I want to go over is scams. Um, I don't want to go too deep into talking about every scam. I have made a video, which I'll link in the description. Um, I do talk about every scam in this game. So I definitely recommend you guys to watch it just to protect yourself from uh, any scams or whatever you might encounter. And just so you don't lose stuff. Then just make sure you're selling on German servers or those richer servers. Um, and then trading, make sure you always check your values before you go into a trade, like always, right? Yeah, I don't know uh, what else I could really help you guys with here. I think I kind of said almost everything that you guys kind of need to know about trading. 
um if there's anything i missed i'll definitely write it down in the comments or something but um yeah hopefully you guys enjoyed and uh peace